Traditionally, the New Year's baby shower is an event for the entire town, but this year things would be quite different. Canada Day celebrations had been cancelled, indoor events were banned, so it was decided to combine both events into one. Well, happy Canada Day! Hi, I'm Paula Kinney. I'm the president of the Ladies Auxiliary Branch 109 Inscriber, and this is my wife, President Lisa Nesbitt. Um, we're here today uh, to celebrate the New Year's Babies um, of 2020. Um, we've been with the Legion quite a few years, um, and usually we do have a baby shower at the Legion, uh, which is for the whole community to come and celebrate the New Year's Babies. Unfortunately, due to COVID, we've had to uh, think of other ways. So, um, with the family and ourselves, we decided to do a parade. Uh, what better day to do it on Canada Day, as there was no celebrations being done, so this was a perfect opportunity to celebrate the brand new babies of 2020 of We just want to thank everybody for coming out, all the support of the town, all of the businesses that supported the baby shower for Boston and Brighton, and we welcome them to Scriber, our new babies of 2020. My name is Cecile Mary. I am the maternal grandmother of Brighton and Boston, who are the 2020 Scriber New Year's babies. Hi, I'm Coral Langell. I'm Brianna's first cousin, um, an honorary aunt of Brighton and Boston. So we had talked about um, when they came home from, finally came home from the hospital after almost two months in the hospital. We were looking at having a family shower, a friend shower kind of thing, uh, probably late spring to give the babies a chance to get a little bit bigger. And as well, the uh, Royal Canadian Legion typically has a New Year's baby shower, but uh, we kind of kept going and going and waiting and waiting and COVID isn't really going anywhere. So we had talked about it and we decided that maybe it was a better idea to have uh, something together and have uh, a town-wide drive-by parade for the babies. So that's why we're here today. Perfect. Um, so I was told, slash I know, that in 1967 the New Year's baby was my Uncle Chris. So it only makes sense that the new New Year's babies are still in the family, Brighton and Boston. They're going to be, they're almost six months, so we're, we are a little bit late going into their year of life. but. Nonetheless, we'll celebrate and hopefully get a bunch of cars out and honking and music and celebrate the babies to be. I'm Dave Mary. And he is the maternal grandfather of Brighton and Boston. We're the Nana and the Papa. <laughs> uh, so our grandsons were born January the 7th in Toronto at Mount Sinai Hospital. Um, I was actually down there for just over a week before that with Brianna uh, while she was waiting to have the babies. And then I had flown back and then the next day the babies were born. Um, so we flew back that weekend to visit them. They were three days old, so it was pretty scary. They were, Boston was born at two pounds, eight ounces and Brighton was born at three pounds, four ounces. So it was pretty scary to see them that small. Um, it was hard, we couldn't hold them at all. They were so tiny that even mom and dad had to wait for a few days before they could even hold the babies. So. And then we spent some time there. I took another trip down in February again, uh, Valentine's Day weekend to visit with them. And then shortly after that, they came to Thunder Bay. And that's when we were finally able to hold them. They were about two months old. How did that feel? That was amazing. Yeah, so then we got to spend a few weeks with them and then COVID was kind of a bigger thing around here. Um, I was pretty nervous about the whole COVID thing and about them potentially getting it from us. So we actually self-isolated from them for about seven or eight weeks which was pretty hard um, not to be able to come and see them but since Mother's Day we've been visiting with them again and spending time with them and we get to have them for sleepovers and visits and so it's awesome. Hi I'm Spruce Shimps. I'm Brianna Mary. And we're the proud parents of Brighton and Boston, Scriber's New Year's Babies. Kids are doing excellent considering how their start to life went, how early they were. They had lots of support from the community and lots of good health. We'd like to say congratulations to the newest New Year's Babies in 2020 on behalf of the Legion Babies Auxiliary Branch 9. We would like to present both babies with New Year's clocks. Oh. 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 Oh.
is sugar, Tom. My neighbor, I'll take a white one, I, I presume we're at it's all over Facebook, so yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. Muriel, I'm Grandma Muriel, um, mother to Spruce. And I'm Ted, Grandpa Ted, of course uh, Spruce's uh, dad as well. Yeah, and so um, we were asked uh, what's it like with COVID and, and you know, the grandkids. It was really hard for us because we're, we live in Marathon and we're trying to, you know, honor the laws that are out there. And so we can only see them from afar. But now that, uh, you know, we're allowed to do this bubble thing, we are, we're able to see them a few times more. So that's been great. But we were so thrilled. We, for us, we never thought we'd be grand parents and so to have two that was awesome <laughs> these are our first and we never like we did grandparents we just resigned ourselves that we weren't going to be grandparents and then they gave us two so we're just so thrilled and the young fellows are doing so good we met them back in the neonatal ICU when they were small enough to hold in one hand and now they're bouncing and smiling and making eye contact. They're, they're doing so well. Yeah. We're so proud. And they're, they're happy babies, so we know mom and dad are doing a great job. And also Nana and Papa, because they get to be here and, and be in there full time. So that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what do you think of Scriber's idea to be hosting this function today on, on Canada Day? Oh, I think this, is, this was fantastic. I mean, and this COVID thing, it just, you know, it, it changed the world. So this was a great way to honor the, the Scriber New Year's baby. Babies. So this is this is fantastic, and we couldn't ask for a better day. Hi, I'm Dave Hamilton, Mayor of Scriber. I'd like to take this opportunity today, at Canada Day, to wish everybody a happy Canada Day. And today we're celebrating our two newest citizens who arrived in Scriber a few months ago. And today they, the people arranged a parade. Uh, in their honor and it was a wonderful turnout and I'd like to thank everybody who got together and, and helped out and have a great day. Thank you.